Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com, and on this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a powerful, professional sounding arpeggiated bass synth, perfect for some hard trance music. This synth will involve some cool techniques such as arpeggiation and filter envelopes to make the synth sound a lot more interesting. Okay, let's begin. I'll just play you the loop. It's just something I've been working on for a song in my band, You and What Army. You should check us out when you get a moment. But yeah, we'll be making this bass synth. Okay, let's begin. Well, I've made this synth with six different devices. But we're going to start with Thor, so I'll get to work on that. Um, right click and create a combinator. Let's just get the beat and our new combinator soloed. So we've got something to work with. And let's name this bass synth. Okay, and I'll just copy the notes into the new track line. Now for these notes, because we're using an arpeggiated bass synth, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's single long notes as opposed to, um, as you can see here, um, multiple individual notes. So when you're using the RPG8 arpeggiator, make sure you've got long notes. Okay, so yes, we have our notes in there now. Right click, create. Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Now, you can hear there is the effect already in, but we don't want the preset effect. You can actually um, disable preset effects. Someone showed me this in a comment on one of my other videos. Um, edit preferences, and here you've got load device sound and new devices. Just untick that if you want. But I've come, become accustomed to it being there. So right click, initialize patch to get rid of it. There we go and show programmer opens with the right up and we can get to work on it okay so we want to make three multi osc oscillators here drop down multi osc and we want that one to be a saw wave this one to be a soft saw wave which is the third one down and this one to be a pulse wave and detune them all make their amount about three eighths around, the way around 36 is the value, and then click 2 and 3 to send the signals through, and then you can hear the the starting sound we've got there. Um, let's, let's work on the filter. We want to turn the frequency round to about 3 eighths, and the resonance up to about a quarter. This is the sound we want the effect to have after the filter envelope has been applied. And the envelope itself was we can define how much it affects the filter by changing this ENV value here. So we want to change that to about five eighths. Okay. Now to actually change the envelope, here the filter env, env is where the um, ADS and R of the envelope are attack decay sustain and release. We want all the values A, S, and R to be zero, and the decay value. We want to be around 250. That's around there. You can hear there's a bit of a pluck sound now on the effect. Um, and also of the amp envelope to change the actual volume, we want A, D and R to be zero and sustain to be full. Now this just means that the, uh, the sound will stay at a consistent level. Okay. Now we've got the basis of the sound here. Um, for the, to make the sound a bit wider and more full, we're going to add some delay and chorus, which Thor conveniently provides here. So just click delay and tempo sync, and I'm going to change the delay time to four sixteenths. That just makes it delay on every um, quarter note. So four sixteenths rounds down to one quarter, and change the dry wet to about a quarter again. This just means the um, it de define, determines how much of the original sound you get in comparison with the delay sound, and we want more of the original sound. For the chorus, I'm just going to click chorus on, because I'm, I'm happy with that effect. But obviously, feel free to mess around with it. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the basis of the effect, we're going to try arpeggiating it. Now, to do that, right click, create, and down the bottom is RPG8 monophonic arpeggiator. And as you can hear, now it's multiple single notes being repeated um, instead of just the one note, but this isn't very interesting. 
So we're going to we're going to make it a more interesting arpeggiation by clicking three oct. There you go, and that that just um, moves the arpeggiator between three different octaves. Surprisingly enough, to further spice up the effect, you've got different options here under insert. I like this one, this three one effect. It's pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. We've got, and to make it bassier, because obviously this is a bass effect, there's an octave shift here. Which is great for that. And just choose where you want it. And now we've got the arpeggiated bass effect. We just want to um, make it sound a bit more um, smooth and powerful. So we're going to right click and create an M class equalizer. As this is bass effect, we want to um, accentuate the bass end of the effect. So um, we're going to click that param1 on and turn the gain up a little bit. Turn the Q down to a quarter. Q is the, um, the area of effect. And turn the frequency down, I've done to about a quarter. It's about, yeah, 115 is the center point. That's, that is. And that just brings up that bass end. Now, right click, create, and compressor, that's what we want next. Now this is just going to um, like bring up the tail end of the effect. So turn the input gain up to about three quarters, and the threshold to a similar amount, and ratio up to infinity to one. Now this means any sound above the threshold is taken down to the threshold. It smooths out the level of the sound, making the loud pluck sound a similar level to the filtered tail end of the sound. Okay, next we'll widen the sound with the stereo imager. Right click, create, stereo imager. Now I'm just going to take the, uh, the high end up about to about three quarters and the low end down to about one quarter. Now this is generally a good practice since a tighter low end makes the miss less m mix less messy and a wider high end makes it sound totally freaking euphoric. Okay, and lastly, we're going to right click, create, maximizer. Now this will just bring up the level to a consistent level um, similar to all the other um, synths in the mix. So we're going to turn up the input gain to about three quarters and hit the four milliseconds look ahead, which um, just makes sure the sound is limited as soon as it hits. And there you have it. Finish your track, get down to the club, throw on your tune, and that's around like one of those Ponzi DJs that wave their hands in the air all the time. You've earned it. Sweet. If you found this tutorial useful, Help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!